Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Lil Dirk. And we're going to also talk about No Cap. Now, both of these stories are different. And when we talk about Lil Dirk, what we're going to get into is, you know, just talk about the situation that he's got going on with his record label and his outlook as far as building his team or maintaining his team in the record industry. Now, everybody knows that Lil Dirk is a baller. Everybody knows he's a boss. And everybody knows that he's got a solid team. You know what I mean? But things start to take a turn when some armed gunmen ran up to his home and started busting and him and his girlfriend had to start busting back. And now there's been a lot of changes, it seems like, with Lil Durk, man. Now, one thing's for certain, Lil Durk isn't going to stop dropping that heat because he recently took to social media to preview a new track and we're going to go over the lyrics in that track and what it's suggesting, you know what I mean? Now, after we talk about Lil Durk, we're going to talk about No Cap. Now, No Cap... Man, he had some charges, some wild charges. And the fact that he got released is wild too, man. It seems like, I don't know if he just had to do some county time or whatnot, but we're going to go through the original report. Because remember, man, when, when No Cap was being looked for, it was basically on the news. They were looking for him. They put out bulletins, all sorts of stuff, man. He turned himself in and he's kind of been quiet since. Now, there's been a whole bunch of rumors about his release since then, but man, nothing materialized until yesterday. Now, before we get to the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about Lil Dirk. Now, Lil Dirk, I must admit, man, dude can turn a negative into a positive like you, could, like you can't believe, man. Like, Lil Dirk has had a lot of monkey wrenches thrown in his game. And dude has turned those into all positives. I haven't seen Lil Dirk take a true L yet, man. He keeps going up, up, up in the rap game, and the rap game and the rap fans keep rewarding him by showing up to his shows, doing all these big things as far as, you know, him getting money and accolades in the game. Well, it looks like Lil Dirk is also down to capitalize on this situation that took place about a week ago, man, when there was a home invasion robbery, or excuse me, just a home invasion, attempted home invasion, we should call it, because they weren't successful, because Lil Durk and his girlfriend ended up defending their property, defending their family, and sending those cats running back to the woods, right? Well, Lil Durk said, forget that, man. He's not going to hide and be in secret about this situation. So he recently took to social media, went live, and displayed a new track where he's talking about the incident, man. Okay, and I wish I could play this song in its entirety because I like the beat. Sounds like it's, you know, it's going pretty fast. It's pretty up-tempo. And he's snapping on that thing, man. Just like when he previewed Should Have Duck. Now, I know Should Have Duck is a controversial track, but when Lil Dirk first premiered that on social media, man, everybody was going crazy, so you knew it was going to be a hit, man. You knew people were going to gravitate towards it. And this sounds like a similar thing. Now, what I noticed about the tracker, what I'm hearing in the track, and I can't say like exactly what Lil Dirk is saying, like I said before, right? But what I do hear is it opens up and he says something about, you know, D-Thang. Now, D-Thang is Lil Durk's brother, his older brother, who passed away, man, about a month ago, man. Horrible situation. He was back in Chicago and he was at a club, which wasn't odd because he was known originally as a club promoter. Like, he even got a whole bunch of love and respect on social media from Lil Durk's ops and everything, man, because... I guess he was just a well-liked dude, you know what I mean? So he already says something about on the on the opening of the track about D thing. I guess this is an opportunity to show some love and respect to his his fallen brother, you know what I mean? Now, when he starts to get into the lyrics, he starts talking about, you know, somebody being in the club with a ski mask on and, you know, that's the only time that they ever wear a ski mask because, you know, saying that they don't wear a ski mask at any other time, you know, because you know what ski mask represents or what people do when they throw the ski mask on, you know what I mean? And then there's another line and it sounds like he says, I will pass the 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 blicky to India before I pass it to any of y'all. And it sounds like he's saying that he'll pass the, gu the gun to his girl before he'll pass it to any of y'all cats. Now, I'm not sure who he's talking about exactly in that line, but obviously when you think about the situation that just took place, that makes a lot of sense because when he was at his crib alone and people were running up, it wasn't his homeboys that was there, it was his girl. And from what all the reports said, she was busting back. 
So obviously she's a writer. So I guess that was his opportunity also to give her a shout out in the song. Now I'm wondering when this song is going to officially drop or when Dirk is coming up with another project because obviously fans are loving the material and gravitating towards it. And like I said earlier, Lil Dirk knows how to take a negative into a positive. He, the King Von situation, horrific, man. Probably one of the next premier artists in hip hop. He turned that into a positive somehow, you know, made sure that he got him good promotion and made sure his project was successful, right? Then he had the situation that happened with D thing. And obviously he's trying to just show his brother love on that end. And then he had the situation that happened with the home or whatever. And he's trying to make sure that he turns that into a, into a positive and makes that into something that makes money for him as well. Now, with that, I'm going to be watching for this little Dirk situation, man. Now, let's get into No Cap. Okay, so now let's get into this No Cap situation. Now, with No Cap, it's some good news finally, man. It's been a lot of, of, of it's been a bumpy road, I'll say like that, man. Because No Cap has been going to jail, and it seems like he's been in the spotlight as far as going into jail since, like, 2019. He's had a crazy situation going on since then where he was accused of shooting into an occupied dwelling and he also caught a reckless endangerment charge. Okay, so rock with me on this. Now, originally, No Cap turned himself in in September 2019. Now, he was doing his time and whatnot and then he ended up getting released in November 2019. Now, this is where it gets wild. Then, while he was released, I guess there were some more charges that he had or something like that. And there was like a, all bulletins out. There was a whole news story at the local news in Mobile, Alabama, basically listing him as an armed and dangerous suspect or something like that, allegedly. And there was a lot of people looking for him saying that No Cap was on the run. That was actually trending on social media. So No Cap took the social media to address the situation and let people know that he, he was going through some things. His whole family was going through some things. I think he had something with his mom or whatnot. And that he was going to be turning himself in within the next 30 days. So he turns himself in, I think it was like that, January 11th or something like that, you know what I mean? And once he turned himself in, he's been locked up ever since. And it was listed as a probation violation, you know what I mean? So he's been locked up and eventually he was released. Because he took the social media yesterday to let everybody know he was released. Now there's been rumors here and there that No Cap was going to be released and nobody's seen anything coming to light from that or anybody seen anything, you know, that's seemed real about that situation or any of those rumors, I should say. But it looks like this time it's real, it's actual, factual, and he even posted a picture on social media. So hopefully this time, No Cap can stay out of jail, man, and stay out of trouble and continue making that music that he's known for because he's got a unique style. And a lot of people, even to his own admission, have been using some of his, you know, material or similar sounding material. I hate to say somebody's using his stuff, but people have been making similar type music of no that No Cap makes, and they've been doing real big right now. I mean, his style and his his sound is real big right now, so he should be able to come back into the game seamlessly. You know what I mean? Now, with that, what do you guys think about this little Dirk situation, man? Do you think it's wise for little Dirk? to benefit or use that situation that happened with the home invasion or the attempted home invasion in an actual song just so that he could profit off of it and, you know, say his piece without going to social media and talk about it. I mean, personally, I think it's smart. And what do you think about No Cap getting released? Do you think finally No Cap can put all his legal troubles behind him and finally get back to making that pain music that everybody likes and, man, really rise and grind in this game? Now, with that, this has been your boy Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content, and we out of here. Peace.